dear friends today we are going to discuss the continuation part of welding welding part 3 let's start question number 1 in dash bracing the heat to melt the filler metal is applied by arc resistance or induction heating technique in dash bracing the heat to melt the filler metal is applied by arc resistance or induction heating technique answer electric bracing answer electric bracing question number 2 in bracing filler material is known as in bracing filler material is known as answer spelter answer spelter question number 3 metal which not contain iron substances is called metal which not contain iron substances is called answer non ferrous metal answer non ferrous metal metal which not contain iron substances is called non ferrous metal the fourth question metal which contain iron as a major content is called metal which contain iron as a major content is called answer ferrous metal answer ferrous metal next question cast iron pipes are made of cast iron pipes are made of answer grey cast iron answer grey cast iron question number 6 brass is an alloy of dash brass is an alloy of dash answer copper and zinc answer copper and zinc question number 7 bronze is an alloy of bronze is an alloy of dash answer copper and tin answer copper and tin question number 8 aluminum is extracted from dash aluminum is extracted from dash answer bauxite answer bauxite question number 9 dash removes oxides from the soldering surface dash removes oxides from the soldering surface answer flex answer flex flex removes oxides from the soldering surface question number 10 dash flexes are acidic and chemically active dash flexes are acidic and chemically active answer inorganic flexes answer inorganic flexes inorganic flexes are acidic and chemically active question number 11 dash flexes are in the form of lump powder paste or liquid dash flexes are in the form of lump powder paste or liquid answer organic flexes answer organic flexes organic flexes are in the form of lump powder paste or liquid next question hydrochloric acid zinc chloride phosphoric acid are examples of dash hydrochloric acid zinc chloride phosphoric acid are examples of dash answer inorganic flexes answer inorganic flexes question number 13 resin tallow are examples of dash flexes resin tallow are examples of dash flexes answer organic flexes resin tallow are examples of organic flexes question number 14 ammonium chloride otherwise known as dash ammonium chloride otherwise known as dash answer sal ammoniac answer sal ammoniac 
Ammonium chloride, otherwise known as sal ammoniac. Question number 15. In brazing or soldering, the filler alloy flows between two closely adjacent surface by dash. In brazing or soldering, the filler alloy flows between two closely adjacent surface by dash. Answer, capillary action. Answer, capillary action. Question number 16. Dash type of flex leaves a corrosive deposit on the base metal surface. Dash type of flex leaves a corrosive deposit on the base metal surface. Answer, corrosive flex. Answer, corrosive flex. Corrosive type of flex leaves a corrosive deposit on the base metal surface. Question number 17. Dash type of flex is not used on electrical work. Dash type of flex is not used on electrical work. Answer, corrosive flex. Answer, corrosive flex. That means inorganic flex. Question number 18. Dash type of flexes is used in electrical soldering. Dash type of flexes is used in electrical soldering. Answer, non-corrosive flex. Answer, non-corrosive flex means organic flex. Non-corrosive or organic type of flexes is used in electrical soldering. Question number 19. Dash is the general purpose flex for most metals. Dash is the general purpose flex for most metals. Answer, borax. Answer, borax. Borax is the general purpose flex for most metals. Question number 28. The base metal is heated to the required temperature by the application of the oxyacetylene flame is known as dash. The base metal is heated to the required temperature by the application of the oxyacetylene flame is known as dash. Answer, torch bracing. Answer, torch bracing. The base metal is heated to the required temperature by the application of the oxyacetylene flame is known as torch bracing. The next question. The parts to be braced are submerged in a molten metal or chemical bath of bracing filler metal. The parts to be braced are submerged in a molten metal or chemical bath of bracing filler metal. Answer, dip bracing. Answer, dip bracing. The parts to be braced are submerged in a molten metal or chemical bath of bracing. Filler metal is deep bracing. Next question. The parts to be braced are heated to the melting point of the bracing material by means of a high frequency electric current. The parts to be braced are heated to the melting point of the bracing material by means of a high frequency electric current. Answer, induction bracing. Answer, induction bracing. Question number 23. All the bracing alloys dash at an elevated temperature. All the bracing alloys dash at an elevated temperature. Answer, loose strength. Answer, loose strength. Strength. All the bracing alloys lose strength at an elevated temperature. Question number 24. Dash is very useful for jointing dissimilar metal tube like copper to stainless steel, etc. Dash is very useful for jointing dissimilar metal tube like copper to stainless steel, etc. Answer silver soldering. Answer silver soldering. Silver soldering is very useful for jointing dissimilar metal tubes. Question number 25th. The melting point of silver bracing alloy filler rod will be around dash degree Celsius. The melting point of silver bracing alloy filler rod will be around dash degree Celsius. 
answer 600 to 800 degree celsius answer 600 to 800 degree celsius question number 26 the maximum permissible gap between the parts to be silver bracing is dash the maximum permissible gap between the parts to be silver bracing is dash answer 0 0.08 mm answer 0 0.08 mm question number 27 both bracing and brace welding are metal joining process which are performed at temperatures above dash both bracing and brace welding are metal joining process which are performed at temperatures above dash answer 450 degree celsius answer 450 degree celsius or 840 degree fahrenheit 840 degree fahrenheit question number 28 which type of welding process is commonly used to weld aluminum to copper which type of welding process is commonly used to weld aluminum to copper answer cold welding answer cold welding question number 29 which type of welding process used for various dissimilar metals in aerospace applications which type of welding process used for various dissimilar metals in aerospace applications answer diffusion welding answer diffusion welding diffusion welding process used for various dissimilar metals in aerospace applications dear friends our today's topic is over we will see again with a new topic if you like my videos please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching